hi everyone and welcome back to the channel um if you're new here today uh please make sure to click the subscribe button and for all my returning subscribers welcome to another video by your ultimate fave okay as you guys can see uh, i'm currently in the car right now it's a bit of a gloomy day it's actually the 10th of november i just just finished uploading a vlog but now i'm currently on my way to my favorite place and if you guys are wondering what place is that it's called dr nandi's aesthetics a lot of people have been asking me how do we get a hold of Dr. Nandi? Where are all her offices? A lot of people will DM me on time. Can I please have Dr. Nandi's um, location? Guys, all you need to do is go onto your safari, Google Dr. Nandi Aesthetics, and you'll definitely find how to get there. And if you also haven't checked, in all my videos where I do reference Dr. Nandi, I do put in her address and her contact details. So please, guys, it's very important that you do read the description box because it'll make things 10 times easier for you. And for me because I can't keep sending the same thing five million times but anyway uh, we are on our way to Dr. Nandi right now let me fix the camera we're on our way to Dr. Nandi right now and you guys are probably wondering what I'm going there for or you think I'm going for the cavitation no I'm going for something I've actually been looking forward to for a bit for a minute now and if you guys are wondering what that is I am actually going to Dr. Nandi for a vampire facial um it's actually called PRP I don't necessarily know what the PRP stands for. Dr. Nandi will explain all of that when I get to, obviously, um, her offices. But according to what uh, social media has called it or what other doctors has referenced it, what other doctors have referenced it as so that it's easily memorable they call it the vampire facial so it's called the vampire facial a lot of people have called it the vampire facial one of the places where you guys might remember this facial is do you guys remember that show um what's it called wags not wags miami the first wags the one that had those two girls what were their names what are their names? The ones that had the blue eyes, the Australian ones. Oh, Nat, Nat, Nat and Liv, Nat and Liv. Um, Natalie Harko, Harko and uh, Olivia Pearson had their own spin-off show called Nat and Liv. And in that spin-off show, in one of the episodes, they went to go get what we know as a vampire facial. And that's when I think they extract blood or something. I don't know if they extract it out of your body. No, is that what I'm going to be doing today? No, but something that has to do with some form of blood being smeared some way okay i'm not entirely sure what i'm doing today but i think it's similar to that to my understanding that is what the vampire facial is without rambling too much on it and basically kind of giving it away you guys are going to be coming with me today to actually see the actual procedure i'm going to be documenting the whole procedure and i'm really excited because i've been wanting to document this procedure for a minute now so yeah guys let me just drive and get to where i'm going and i'll talk to you guys as soon as i get to dr nandi's offices Guys, I'm so excited to do this vampire facial, but I'm so scared they're gonna numb my face. My 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 ning numb I've been club. I'm not gonna feel anything, right? No. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. Who sang a chola? Wait. look at my skincare routine sucks guys if you guys can put me onto like a dope skincare brand whatever please do because they've had enough of me at dr nandi with not to be starting my face <laughs> but to go be saying nothing nothing <laughs> i came here with a fresh face so that you can do what you need to do is it painful no it's not oh wow well.
my whole face feels numb AF. Like even my eye feels like I want to see. <laughs> whole face feels numb. My lips feel numb. I feel numb. So I'm not gonna say much, but I feel numb. Okay guys, um, so they just uh, drew my blood uh, from my uh, elbow, there, let me just show it to you guys. They just drew some blood and what they're going to do is they're going to spin the blood. I don't know what that even means, but I'm going to assume that they're physically spinning the blood. I don't know, take out the oxygen, put the oxygen, I don't know. And then they're probably going to put it back into my face, hence the numbing cream on like parts of my face um my mouth feels heavy and that's because like my mouth is also a bit numb there's parts of my mouth that also feel quite numb so i'm, I'm like nervous but i'm also excited but i'm really nervous more than anything because i didn't realize the severity of what i'm doing and then after this i have a video to go shoot but i can't put on any makeup so I hope you guys are going to be okay with me shooting a video without makeup today. I sit down without makeup. Okay, guys, talk to you in a bit. So what what does it mean when they say they're going to spin my blood? So, back on the oxygen. The oxygen? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yo, I can't feel my face. Hmm. I'm traumatized that I can't feel my face. <laughs> <laughs> and especially around my cheeks, very anxious on it. Say pearly lingam. Ah 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 ah! I really can't feel my face. <laughs> Why can't? Ah. <laughs> oh my god! Ah. I feel like I can't breathe. Oh my god! Is this what I feel? Why? I feel like I can't feel my face. Can't feel yeah, this feels awkward. Oh my god. Yo, I can't believe it. Okay, so guys, they're gonna put the plasma in my face. They're actually not gonna put my. What's gonna happen to my blood? So, last. Okay. So guys, um, they're going to actually put the plasma in my face, not my actual blood. So I think that's the difference. So they were separating my blood from the actual plasma. That's going to contribute as the actual facial. Yes, I can't feel my face. Yes, I'm stressed.
Oh my god. Is that what my skin looks like right now? Oh my goodness. Oh yes, 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 yes. I still have that. Yeah, so you'll be applying that for five days. I need yeah. for the skin to repair. Okay. And then after, you can go back to your normal skincare. Okay. So how do I wash? I just wash my face. Wash your face with your cleanser mm -hmm. and then scar repair and laser zoom. Okay. So that thing that you were using to put the plasma inside, was it needles? Any? Lentole, that oh, machine. The, yeah, the what was that? That's the pen we used to needle the skin. Oh, so it is like little needles. Yeah, yeah I can feel like the, the general itch. It's not like an itch, it's like oh, a, a burning sensation. Okay guys, so I, <laughs> I'm i back in the car and <laughs> my face is still somewhat swollen and somehow I've become like stuffy nosed and I think it's because I got cold. I got really cold in the room while they were doing like the procedure on me. So I'm just going to try to pick up like the, the heat in the car so I don't have trouble. So I just finished the procedure and um, I just really want to talk to you guys about how my skin feels. So I can tell like from looking at the camera, my skin obviously looks like it's glowing and that's obviously because of what they've put on my skin. But also my skin, oh, well, I still feel pretty numb. So even talking right now, I feel like doing this so you guys know I'm moving my lips. But... <laughs> Um, obviously that's gonna look really weird on camera and apparently my face isn't even swollen but to me it feels swollen because of the procedure I just had wow I am shook like yo 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 I was just like this is what we have to do no I'm sorry guys ah yeah 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 no 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 I'm not grown enough for this so that little um, thing okay I was wrong about two things when they said vampire facial I thought they were gonna put my blood on my face as from what I've seen on Nat and Live but they actually just separate my blood from the plasma which is actually what they need to obviously make my skin look more youthful and make it glow so they separate the blood from the, pl uh, the plasma and then they use the plasma on my face and then uh, secondly, the little device that you saw that they were using to obviously put the plasma inside consisted of needles, small little needles. And I felt it sometimes because there were points where some parts of my face were not as numb as others, like not as numb as this part. And then I could feel every time she did that, I'd be like, yay, like just yay, especially by my temples, especially by my temples. I feel like, I, I, whoa. Let's just, let's discuss this. Overall, would I do this again? Highly unlikely. But I definitely would do a chemical peel again. I definitely would do that again. But apparently, the vampire facial alongside microneedling are one of the best if you do have pigmentation. Which I don't. So, I take comfort in feeling like, oh, okay, cool. 
because I don't have that much pigmentation I'm not gonna worry too much about this I'm so sorry guys my nose like I said uh, I could barely feel like what was happening in terms of the needle but what I can definitely say I felt was there were parts of my face that was not that were not as numb as other parts so should I take this cap off because the lighting keeps going in and out there were other parts of my face that didn't feel as numb as others so what would happen is I felt the needles like not 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 like they felt ah no but I felt the needles I felt them in such a in such a way that I felt like small little needles like thinging into my skin but then in other parts I didn't really feel it so that was fine um i think this is the end of this episode i wanted it to focus solely on dr nandi's um vampire facial and kind of really talk about it because i've been so excited to try this vampire facial for a minute now that i was actually so shook to find out that it actually doesn't involve any blood like i want the blood i want the gruesome i want the grimy I want the disgust you know but yeah guys let me wait for my face to kind of swell down and I'll show you guys an update of what my skin looks like in a few days uh, I'm not allowed to put on any makeup for the next 24 hours I'm not allowed to go to gym I'm not allowed to have sex yeah but not that one hey <laughs> but I mean I guess I'm not allowed to have sex I'm not allowed to do anything that's gonna make me sweat so so yeah guys i'll keep you guys updated on what my face looks like in about a couple of days thank you so much for coming through with me thank you so much for making this november like a more of a skincare november i'm really trying to take my skincare seriously like, we're all becoming older now so i'm really trying to take good care of my skin the same way i want to obviously give you guys beauty content i do want to start focusing on giving you guys like really good skincare content and to let you guys know where you can get good skincare content so for anybody who wants to know how much the facial actually retails for it retails for 4500 south african rands uh for anybody who's probably watching from other parts or different countries uh it retails for 4500 south african rands and i know you guys are thinking ah yeah <laughs> but um i think the reason why is because it is a very very how do i say it what's the word i'm looking for it's a highly i don't want to say highly valued facial but it's one of those facials that a lot a lot a lot of celebrities get done and things like that like you see people with glowing skin and you're like how do you glow every day like trust and believe that it is one of the facials that is like guaranteed to give you results like it doesn't matter who you are or whatever the case may be it's not like it changes according to um you know skin care because at the end of the day they're using your own plasma so they're using your own um particles of your body and it's bound to work essentially and it does involve a procedure of extracting your blood so hence uh the price range but it is really good i would suggest it if you are someone who suffers from really bad pigmentation i did mention this in a previous post that one of the reasons why i wanted to do this uh facial was because of a friend of mine mimi Vagali. she had really bad like uh pigmentation on her skin and then she did micro needling and she was telling me how micro needling really helped her in terms of her skin like some of her pigmentation went away i'll drop her details down below you guys should follow her on social media she's the same person i mentioned in my previous vlog where i said she's got a great body oh mimi am i your biggest fan or am i a biggest fan stay ripping you in my videos but all right right guys so i think that's the end of today's video i definitely will keep you guys posted on the results i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video